today I'm going to show you how to make hot ice. Check this out. So, I'm going to teach you how to make this. A load of fun, completely safe and non-toxic, and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. Okay, so to make hot ice or sodium acetate, you need a few household products that you can get at almost any grocery store, convenience store, or pharmacy. First, we have household vinegar, baking soda, 70% isopropyl alcohol, plastic cups, plastic plates, measuring cup, measuring spoons, aluminum foil, and a really big bowl so we can boil this down and access to a stove. So first, we're gonna react the vinegar with the baking soda. I've already measured out six cups of vinegar. You're gonna pour it into your bowl, and then we're gonna add baking soda. To the six cups of vinegar, slowly add five tablespoons of baking soda. You notice a lot of bubbling, which is actually carbon dioxide being released. What we actually have left in here is a solution of sodium acetate and water. Now there's too much water in here to actually make hot ice, so we're going to boil this down to remove the water. You want to boil the solution on high heat until almost all of the liquid is gone. Once this happens, you're going to see a thin film of crystals form on the surface of the liquid. When you see this thin film, quickly turn off the heat and add one-third cups of vinegar. Then swirl the solution and pour it into a plastic bowl while it's still hot. Now, you're going to cover this with aluminum foil and let it sit to cool slowly. After you let the solution cool to room temperature, cover it with aluminum foil and put it in the fridge. After one hour in the fridge, crystals will form. Carefully pour off the liquid into a cup leaving only the crystals. We need to further clean the crystals by using our 70% isopropyl alcohol. So carefully pour in the alcohol to cover the crystals, mix it around, and pour off the liquid, which you can dump down the drain. Repeat this twice more to get really clean crystals that are going to make some really awesome hot ice. What we're left with is the crystals of sodium acetate, which is hot ice. Before we move on, you want to save a few of the crystals for later, but right now, add one tablespoon of water to the crystals and microwave for about 60 seconds until this melts. Once all the crystals melt and the solution is hot, pour it into a cup and let it cool slowly at room temperature. So after this is cooled down to room temperature, you're going to carefully take it and put it in the fridge. Before we save the few crystals, you want to put those crystals down on the paper. This is what initiates the crystallization. We just made hot ice from baking soda and vinegar, household products. Now let's break down the science of how this really works. What we have been calling hot ice all along is not actually hot ice. It's a chemical called sodium acetate dissolved in water. Now when we reacted vinegar, which chemically is acetic acid, with baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, we got three products. Sodium acetate, water, and carbon dioxide gas. The only one we really care about is sodium acetate. We then boiled the liquid to remove almost all the water because our experiment requires what's called a super saturated solution of sodium acetate. Now all this means is we're trying to dissolve more sodium acetate in the water than it can normally hold. Making a liquid become super saturated is usually difficult because it needs to be completely free of dust and particles which can initiate the formation of the crystals. That's why we always use brand new plastic bowls and always covered with aluminum foil. Once we made our super saturated solution, we started the formation of the crystals by pouring our liquid onto a few seed crystals. These seed crystals helped initiate all of the extra sodium acetate dissolved in our super saturated liquid to crystallize, forming a huge mass of crystals. And this becomes hot, therefore you get the name hot ice. So there you go. Today we made a super saturated solution of sodium acetate and initiated the crystallization into hot ice using a few seed crystals. So now it's your turn to try this at home in your kitchen today. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.